live here from Cleveland Central Catholic High School, home of the Ironmen, and the site of tonight's matchup between the 15 and 1 Holy Name Green Wave and the 7 and 11 Cleveland Central Catholic Ironmen. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this broadcast. I am Nathan Spina, alongside me on the call tonight, Michael Alexic. Good to have you here, Michael, on this Wednesday night. Yeah, great to be here, Nathan. Different night for us, though. Normally we're here on Tuesdays. Different night, different month, different everything here as we are ready to get this one underway. And we are underway as Kadiro gets the tip here from Cleveland Central Catholic High School. Christino inside gives to Petway. Petway struggling to give it. Here's Christino, puts up a two. That one not falling, rebounded by the Ironman and Sims. As Cleveland Central Catholic starts this game, Michael, who needs to step up here for Holy Name if they are to be successful and win the nice contest? I think you're going to have to see Peter Christino step up. Now we want to see Josh Cristiano keep doing what he's doing, bring what he brought from that last game, bring it into this game. But Peter Cristiano needs to step up on offense a little bit. And there was a little bit there on defense. Hit 33 last time out, hoping to emulate that tonight as Abraham keeps it here for Holy Name as they're trying to get the first points of the night. Sires outside, Cristiano, corner now to Abraham. Abraham inside, now in all the hands of Petway into the hands of Arnell Engines. Edmonds, long jumping two, that one will fall. First blood of the night for Cleveland Central Catholic. Expect to see Holy Name really in this game, try to drive the ball inside, be tougher on the rim. Abraham takes inside, concluding two, that one will fall. Abraham, first points of the night for the Green Wave. Just like right there. He went all the way to, he went all the, way to the hoop. And if you're seeing both teams having scored on two pointers so far, expect to see that for Cleveland Central Catholic. They're a team who likes to pound it inside, drive to the basket. They can shoot threes, don't get me wrong, but they're a team who likes to drive it inside and work that way, similar to what we've seen Buckeye and Lou and West like to do. Yeah, but the whole name, don't let them overcommit. There's a three. Edmonds, that one not falling. That one tips and will go out against Central Catholic. Knox is the culprit knocking out of bounds. Holy name takes back possession. Don't get and don't start just leaning under the basket because that'll take those wide open threes. Still be physical, and you got to play physical throughout the whole night. Physicality will win you and lose you basketball games. We've seen that this season. Abraham floating two, that one. Lucky bounce keeps it. Holy name up for the first time tonight. Yeah, expect it. You might see some fatigue from this uh, Ironman's team as they played last night. And a tough one at that. 72-54 loss as JFK Catholic, their fourth loss in a row. Now will be a foul committed against Joey Abraham, I believe. Yeah, I wouldn't expect to see that maybe early in these quarters here. But when we get into that fourth quarter, just like Lutheran, now it's like that Lutheran West game. Lutheran West got a lot of fatigue, like Lakewood for Holy Name. That game went into double overtime, which a game the Holy Name should have won very easily and missed on that first shot there. Yep. We see fatigue many times. I'm sure we'll see it pulling in playing Friday night. At least they get a day off in between, but fatigue is definitely a big part of any sport that you play in, as that one will fall for the Ironman. But in any sport that you play, if you play back-to-back -back days, that is not easy on the body. Same muscles being used on repetitive days is never easy. And that one will bow out against the Ironman. Holy name, peace possession. Now, another thing to keep in mind here, Joey Abraham with all four of Holy Name's points. This is now kind of a shifting into a new form. I started to take that one. He will score later, but it is a new form for Joey Abraham. Will he become more of a scoring partner in the following games, do you think? Without King and Fernland, I think we're going we're gonna to see Joey Abraham step up and more in that scoring role of the point guard. Now, he, he doesn't always shoot, which is great, which is fine, but maybe in these next few games that Keegan's out, we'll see him shoot a little bit more. And that one will fall for Josiah Knox's first two of the night. But that's the beauty of Holy Name. They're flexible. Next man up mentality. We have six guys who actively play here for varsity. Any of them are ready to settle in whatever role they're need to do, whether it be on offense or defense. And that one, fade away two, will not fall. Rebounded by Petway. And that'll be a jump ball. We'll take possession, but a little bit of a weird jump ball to be called. It looked like neither of them had really possession of the ball. No, it was it hit on the arm. It really looked like it hit on the arm. I don't know. They're going to call it Iron Man ball. If anything, I thought they were going to call it travel on Petway for the up and down. I actually didn't even think about a travel. I thought about a travel, yeah, but I thought that was definitely a shooting foul. And two from the line. Yeah, our 20-year-old predictions are not coming to fruition early. 
Well, I don't get paid as much as Tony Romo, so. Yeah, that's a fair point. That one off the front of the rim. Bouncing around, Pinheiro gets it on defense. Pass up, two stars with two on the night. Without so that two, that one not falling. Petway on the putback will fall. Second chance points for Holyman. And Petway, two on the night, opening his account. Found the offensive glass. And there is wide open three for Cleveland Central Catholic. That one falls for Josiah Knox. Five now on the night. Now I know how we said how they're not, there's a drive by Pinheiro and takes it in. A nice response, timeout. CCC, but still, point eight. They gave up points there on the open three, but they did not sit back and so, oh, we gave a wide open three. Oh, now we're losing. No, they got the ball back. They drove it right down the court, and Josh Pinier opened his scoring account for the night. That's exactly the mentality Holy Name needs to have. Holy Name this year, in game that they've been held under 50, the only one that we've been held under 50, mind you, we lost. We scored 43 against Strongville and lost by 17. If we get above that 50 mark, a mark that Cleveland Central Catholic in the last four games has struggled to get above, as in their last four games they've gotten above it twice. In the one game they got above it, they got 51, the other 54. If Holy Name could score 55 points, realistically, that's a win for Holy Name. Yeah. Any any scenario here where Holy Name keeps uh, CCC under 50 is a win for Holy Name. This one could be more of a defensive game, like. The highest scoring points for Ironman in any game this year in the first three games. Their last game, and now as Holy Name with a fast break right away. Pinheiro, quick points right away. Great pressure. Saw the double team, able to step up, trap him in the corner, make him a pass he doesn't want to commit, and drew right there. Almost another turnover here. They're going to call a jump ball. And Holy Name should get this one. Yeah, this will be a Holy Name's ball. And as I was saying before, on November 30th, Cleveland Central Catholic beat John Hay by a score of 80 to 59. That's our highest point score since November 30th. The most they scored in a single game is 67 points. Now then, John Marshall in a blowout, 67-26. So, if you're holding in, if you can get to 55, that is your magic number tonight. Maybe even 60. Get to that point, and that should be a green win W. Yeah. Well, so far you kind of see a high-scoring game here. Poked out of bounds. Just a bad pass by Abraham, and going the other way. Yeah, it's starting out to be high scoring. There's Pinheiro. Wimberly uh, kicked outside here to Josiah Knox. The, the game leading five points for the Ironmen. Josiah Knox kicks outside the arc. Back inside working is Edmonds. There'll be a foul against Drew Sires on the shot. Two foul shots incoming here for Arno. Yeah, we have some big injury news, Nathan. Joe Lewis, back in uniform. We saw him playing the JV game earlier. Had a couple big buckets there at the end, even though they won by a blowout. But he became, he became wide open, and he, he looked like he was ready to play. He came back ready to play. It really looked like he was ready. So if, if Holy Name's up, expect him to come in here. We'll be late in the fourth quarter. Holy Name has a smaller lineup if you think about it. Our two bigs are Petway and Cristino. The next tallest guy we have on our roster would be Fernland, and he's out. So definitely you can see Joe Lou slot into more of a small forward power forward role in this one. Yeah, you're gonna see a full court press here. Holy Name doesn't look like they're all that ready for it. I mean. Yeah, if he stays still there, you know, he probably can get Abraham out of bounds by himself. Abraham takes up here. Inside to Petway. Petway. And that one will be called a travel on the big man. Cleveland Central Catholic takes back possession. Here comes Cleveland Central Catholic. Williams outside to Edmonds. Edmonds gives to Wimberly. Wimberly with two points on the night. Wimberly outside, a three here from Williams. That one from Tafari Williams not falling. Here comes Holy Name trying to work this one quickly. Abraham, Humanic, steps outside, a three. That one not falling. Cyrus gets the rebound, puts it back. That one will fall and be an and one for the Green Wave. Well, I mean, on the two offensive rebounds they've been able to get tonight, and hey, both have come up with two points. This one's come up with three. 
Be good. His tally for the night stays at four. Cleveland Central got the kiss back. Yeah, Holy Aim in a tough man to man defense. This is probably the second best defense that the Iron Man have seen all year behind us, St. Ed's. You can put Brunson about there too, holding them to 43. And that one not falling, rebounded by Knox. Knox inside the paint, hands it off to Wimberly. Wimberly, well, I'm guessing it'll be two points on the night because one point was missing and he had a free throw, so I gave him an extra point. Kicked outside two knocks. Knocks back to Williams. Here's that Cleveland Central Catholic this, taking a minute to look this, for an open shot. This looks a lot like a Buckeye offense. This, this really looks like a lot like a Buckeye offense. Taking their time, finding a good shot, a lot of drives to the hoop, not a lot of threes. Here comes Knox, corner here for Wimberly. Wimberly, that one. They stepped out of bounds. Yeah. yeah. They saw it. I saw it. I didn't know they were going to call it, but nice job there by the ref to recognize they stepped out of bounds. Holy name. Up by three against the ball back. Yeah, they want human to come in on the ball, though. He wasn't paying attention with a full court press. Holy name got to be ready for it. Yeah, everybody want to come out and win this game. Like, who doesn't? So. That's a decently high scoring for a game that'll be defensive. It doesn't feel like this game's gone on that long, but. Holy name is 14, trying to make it more. Pinheiro takes inside. Petway, that one will fall for the big man. Petway taking inside at a four on the night. Holy name, up by a game leading five points. Yeah, that's going to work for them all night. I, I feel like they have a size advantage inside. I know they only have two guys with size, and there's like two. And that put back four, Sims will fall. That should have been an over the back. I mean, he can't go up over top of him. And then, uh, I feel like Holy Name has a size advantage inside though. Just right now, they're playing a lot more physical inside, and that could be a big opportunity they can take advantage of. Pinheiro, three. Hey! Pinheiro, first three of the night for the Green Wave. And now Holy Name up by six. Biggest lead of the night, and Iron Men are gonna slow this one down and probably take it to the quarter. That'd be the smart thing to do. Holy name, 19 points in this first quarter. Explosive on offense so far. That's gonna drive it inside. Oh, come on. And Williams does the job. His coach asked him to do drawing a foul. Three. Especially with that much time, he can't, he kind of like threw his arms down at him, can't. Now will be Williams' first points of the night. Playing him, hoping that with 20 seconds left, you definitely could put some points on the board before the quarter. And Clippers up to Kathy to make some substitutions here as Bryce and, and Hurt come back into the game here for the Ironman. I don't think you really want to send the Ironman to the line. I mean, they've done quite well from the line, I think. They only missed one out of their six that they've taken, I feel like. Or, or yeah, I think they've taken six. Pinheiro, that one. Nice shot there by Pinheiro going under the basket there and kind of laying it up and it works. No stupid fouls. That one sent away by Abraham, kept in bounds, but that will take us to the end here of the first quarter. After one play here from Cleveland Central Catholic High School, holy name. Up 21-15 here over the Ironman. We'll be back in a minute to bring in the second quarter of this one.
All right, we are back here from Cleveland Central Catholic High School. Your score after one, Holy Name 21, Cleveland Central Catholic 15. Michael, what has Holy Name done well offensively that have gotten us the six-point lead, but also 21 points in one quarter? They pushed the ball inside real well. I think Petler's got six, so they did a good job feeding him. And then Pinheiro hit a nice, he's got four. He hit a nice three there, because they kept the ball inside, so Cleveland Central Catholic wasn't ready for around the rim. And that's exactly what Cleveland Central Catholic wants one aim to do. And that one left wide open. Human at glass line defense. That one will fall for Grace. First two points of the game for him. Overcommitted to the press there, right? They had like four guys in the backcourt on two guys. CCC had two guys up there. It was a two on one. Corner now. Humanic kicks up to Joey Abraham. Abraham pushes inside corner for Humanic once again. Holy name running similar patterns. Casino outside to Pinheiro. Pinheiro has a lane to the basket, takes it, and that one will get the lucky roll. Holy name, first points here of the second quarter for them. That one, Holy name, able to fall on by Abraham. Pinheiro floater. That one not falling, kips around. Pinheiro fighting for it. And that one finally be ripped away by Jaisa. Josiah Knox. Yeah, you're gonna get a foul on uh, CCC here. Yeah, that's yeah, gonna be an easy call. They're gonna call that all day. That was a clear whack. So holding a ball inbounding is Joey Abraham. Abraham here to inbound, looking for someone open, able to find Pinheiro. Hey, great job by him because you got a five-second violation. You can't have a five-second violation. That's a long three. That one not falling. Taken in by K. Elon Hurt, who takes it up here for the Ironman. McCall, who just checked in the game, trying to drive. Able to get it outside to Josiah Knox. That one loose. Nice stop there by Stiers. A prior to free. Pinero, that one will not fall. And that'll be a foul against Cleveland Central Catholic. It appears on Arnell Edmonds. Two shots here for Josh Pinero. Now let's see how they make their three throws. CCC's been able to do that all night, so Hoyning hopefully can keep it, can make theirs. And I think you're gonna see Joe Abraham check out here for Dorian Petway, but we'll see, we'll see. And as you said, Josh Minero, a big offensive part here for Holy Name. Now up to 12 points in tonight's contest already. He's picking up just where he left off. Well, we'll have Drew check out for Petway. So your Holy Name five is Humanic, Abraham, Pinheiro, Cristino, and Petway. So definitely can pound the ball inside because you got some size and some physicality. You got size in, in uh, Petway and Cristino and physicality in Pinheiro and Abraham. And then you always forgot the Humanic if you can shoot a three. That's, I mean, it's his quarter, so. And holy name, those are the first two free throws, if I'm not mistaken, a fall of the night for the Green Wave. That's exactly what they wanted to do there. Be able to keep their poise and get to the line and score. That one not falling for Central Catholic. Rebound into the hands of the big man, Dorian Petway, who just checked back into the game. Yeah, win the rebounding battle, win the game. I, I, so far, I think Hoyne is leading. I mean, I can't keep those stats and do the score. But Nathan's doing, uh, keeping everyone score today. Three, that one not falling, rebounded by Petway. That'll be a foul on Petway, I am guessing. No, I, or I, be off the ball. I would say. I didn't see it. I really, I actually thought that was going to be a foul on Humanic after the shot. I mean, he got like lit up after it. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know the foul on Petway either. I, well, uh, what are you going to do? Yep. Got to play with what the rest got you. Wimberly fade away. That one not falling. Rebounded by Petway. Gives to. Pinheiro, Holy Name resets here on offense once again. Holy Name hasn't had any long, drawn out possessions like they did in that, uh, uh, oh my god, I'm losing it now, Nathan, in that Buckeye game. I mean, I don't think we've seen a possession more than 20 seconds, really. And that one falls for Pinheiro again. Pinheiro now to 15 points on the night. But now they've been efficient, obviously, like 27 points. Just need to, looks like they need to step up on defense a little bit. Get up 17. Now you got 27, don't get me wrong, but. but. I think that's just the game script of that one will not fall rebounded by Petway. I think that's just the game script for this game. Holy Name playing high tempo offense, which gives CCC more chances. That one for Pinheiro, the hot hand falls again. 17 now on the night for Josh Pinheiro. Yeah, he's on fire. He's gonna be hard to stop. Once you get him going, he's hard to stop. He started out a little cold in this game. I think he went 
maybe 0 for 3, 0 for 4 for his first couple shots, but after that, I don't think he's missed. I don't think after he that either. first time out from CCC, he has come out ready to play. And he's on it all around. Two free throws out of two made, one three-pointer made, six twos made. He's done pretty well all night from all around. And he has the majority of all his points. They accepted at 12 points. Which are even they split among three other players, I believe. They split among Abraham, Petway, and Sire to all four. So Holy Name up is relying on Josh Pinheiro. Kind of a role we've seen Keegan Ferland and as well Josh Pinheiro himself play at this point in the season. Yeah. I I wouldn't be surprised if you keep seeing Pinheiro having the ball. I wouldn't be surprised if he starts bringing the ball up the court even. He had a season best and season best for anyone holding in 33 points last time out. It looks like he's trying to one up himself. And I mean, if he's a hot hand, more power to him. Try and beat that number get up to 35 points scored in a game. He can do it. Just don't play hero ball and try to force it to him if his hand goes a little cold. Yeah, he's Keep feeding the ball around like we always do, but if you got a hot hand, feed it. Like Kuminik was hot a couple games ago, and, and you kept, saw him made three or, three or four threes right in a row, and just kept feeding it to him. Williams working on Abraham, trying driving inside. That one has to be kicked out. Christina on the steal, fighting to keep position. That one will be right away from him. Comes out against Christina. Came inside to a cat and gets that wow. possession there, and a lucky break. Yeah, wow. I'm... Coach Patton wants to answer. He... And so was all the Holy Name fans behind us. Yeah. Now, Philbin says the Catholic back to work after getting lucky on that possession. Wimberly. So the two, that one will fall for Wimberly. Four points on the night for him. And for the game again. As you see, Finier tries to bring out the ball again, but it looks like he tried to get it to Abraham. As Abraham cuts across. That one almost went back court, able to be kept on court though by Abraham. It would have been, a, it was tipped by CCC, so it would not have mattered. Pinero should have an open lane here. And that one fade away, that one not falling, tipped around now into the hands of Cleveland Central Catholic and Safari Williams. Williams gives to Wimberley in the corner, back up top to Williams. It appears Cleveland Central Catholic are going to try to draw this one out and try to find an open lane to the hoop. Yeah, they're playing a lot of Buckeye offense, maybe some pick and rolls, some cut. And that's going to be out of bounds on Joey, so that's going to stay CCC ball. But still, that's the aggression you want to see from Holy Name. Get a hand in there, get anything in there. Force them to have to re-inbound the ball and start again. If you can do so, then that kind of forcing Blue Central Catholic to have to mix things up. Because we've seen them pass it around outside the earth, but near it. But now having to take it back up, they have to reset and kind of change their whole offensive plan around that. Yeah, they're running like the same exact thing they ran last time, right there. With that that was double screen. That was rejected by Petway. Yeah. Inside McCullough. That one falls for McCullough, his first two on the night. I think he got a little scared. He spun and ran right into a wall of Dorian Petway and somehow was able to throw it over him. Pinero now gets it here. Matched up against Williams. Sires fade away to that one. Not falling, rebounded by McCall. They look like they're looking better than they did in the first quarter. Yeah, they started in a zone and now they're a man. Tafari Williams kicks outside to Wimberly. Wimberly, that one is unable to fall. That one by Sims, not falling either, taken in by Petway. And Now we got foul against Sims there, trying to get the rebound. Holy name, keep possession. Yeah, uh, CCC's coach, Young, you got to go up stronger with that. And yes, totally have to go up stronger with that. You got to be physical with the ball. Timeout, holy name, it looks like. Yeah, 251 left to go here in the first half. Holy name, 29 points. They've only scored 10 here in this quarter compared to the 19 they had. They're still playing time to score more points, but. We've seen this happen. They come out strong in a game and come flat in the second quarter. We've also seen the inverse of that where they start off slow and the second quarter is their quarter. There's usually at least one or two quarters where their offense is hot and their whole team, everything's blowing well. But we always see one or two quarters where the wheels kind of come off. How do we avoid that going into the second quarter ending and then the third quarter itself? How do we avoid going into that kind of skin? Well, normally we start off slow. Tonight, we really didn't. 
we had a big break in between games, that could be a big part of it. But to prevent the, the slowdown is just, if you're starting and not coming, getting points on every possession, be smarter with the ball. Maybe not also quick possessions. Take your time, get an open shot. Get somebody hot, push the ball inside, be physical. Try a bunch of different things. Well, this sense Pinero's last shot, he's gone cold. 4-0 run for Coons that got the coin and trying to stop it, and they're able to do so. Sires points it a big time. Maybe that was the one to open the floodgates again for Holy Name's offense. Yeah, they just beat the press, and it was like a three on two, so. If you can do that, you'll take that any day of the week. Hurt gives to McCall. McCall working at Sires, trying to drive it inside. That one will not fall. Tipped around, but Central Catholic able to get it. Pump fake shot, Hurt now able to get rid of it to Williams. But the, still, Holy Name was the closest game rebound, but nice job by McCullough inside to free it away for the Ironman. Knox, floater, not falling, taking in Sims. That one will fall for Sims. Four points on the night now for Justin Sims, the freshman. Of course, Newman got the corner and three. That one directly into the hands of Puma Central Catholic against Safari Williams. Yeah, too strong. It was a deep three, he knew he had to get some on it, but a little too much. Kayla Elon Hurt now has it here. Nearing 90 ticks remaining here in the first half of this one. Williams working on Pinheiro, gives outside to McCullough. McCullough bobbling, able to get rid of it outside the arc to Knox. I feel like they think they have a good matchup on Humanic because I feel like I'm seeing a lot of drives on, I mean, I'm seeing a lot of drives on everybody, but especially hard drives on Humanic. So maybe they think Humanic might be a weak point here of this one-name defense. It's definitely not the case, as that one will go out against holy name, but if you're looking at this holy name team and looking at the ages that you're seeing, and kind of like the physique building here, Abraham, we've seen him be able to score. Pinero, we know him as a scoring guy who's seen people. And they've watched film. There's not much defense that you can watch on him. If you watch the like, top plays of a game, he's not someone who gets in there and blocks every shot or steals every one. He's able to get in there, get rebounds, and play some good press. If that's what they saw, then that's why they're trying to exploit him. And that they're able to. That one, nice floater there by McCall. Yes, expect Colin to go fast as they've been doing, and it's worked. It's been successful for them. Abraham works inside for the two. That one will fall, and they're going to call that an and one. Maybe this gets Holy Name on, a, on another run. That could lead them to another run. I mean, I feel like that, that with Drew, when he made his and one, that led Holy Name to a run. Forced CCC to call a timeout. Maybe they can get a, and that free throw is good from Abraham. Maybe they get on a run before the half here with 50 ticks to go. And now here comes Hurt taking it out here for Cleveland Central Catholic, down by nine. Trying to get the Ironman offense working here. Josiah Knox. Working on Pinheiro, kicks outside. McCullough gives to Williams. Williams trying to work inside on Humanic. That one tipped out against Sims and the Ironman holding in. Getting back possession, and now it's time to pile on the points before the end of the half. Here's Drew, slow it up. Outside Pinheiro. Holy Name slows one down. This could potentially be one where they see it at the end of the half. Instead, we're going to sign that one. Goes out against Cleveland Central Catholic, and now it's 14.9 seconds. Now you even consider it more of run down the clock and take a shot to end the half. Yeah, but if you get something wide open underneath the basket here on this inbounds pass, expect them to take that. I think right now the, is option one wide open, option two run off the clock. I think that's what their options are going to be. Yeah, I totally agree. Get the ball to Abraham, see what we can do. Abraham inside, gets rid of Pinero wide open, a longer three. Bang! And that's how you end a half of your holy name. Now holy name up by 12, going into the half. Your score at halftime. Holy name 37, Cleveland Central Catholic 25. 
Coming in, boys varsity basketball has one more game in the quote-unquote regular season on Friday against Normandy. Unless something happens, I do not believe we'll be covering that game, but we'll let you know. Otherwise, the same thing in all game that we're covering, follow Holy Name, broadcasting on Instagram and Twitter. The same thing in all Holy Name sports, follow Holy Name Athletics on Instagram and Twitter. And by subscribe here to Holy Name Athletics YouTube and put on push notifications to be notified when we go live. We are two subscribers away from 900. If we can get there before the end of this game, that would be great. So if you have not subscribed, go down there, press the subscribe button, it will go from red to gray. It'll make your day, trust me. And then after this week, looking at the next two weeks, Hoenay will be playing on Tuesday and Friday nights in the GLC tournament. The first two games, if I'm not mistaken, are guaranteed home games. We'll update you on those. All right, 10 minutes left here in the break before the second half starts. We'll be back to you once that break is over. All right, we are back here from Cleveland Central Catholic High School. Your score after 16 minutes of play. Holy Name 31, Cleveland Central Catholic 17. And I believe we're switching it up today. Michael, you have a question for me going out of the half. I do. You just asked it to me. What's your question? Oh. What did I ask you? Oh. This is why we can't have nice things. Finish. Ask the question. Uh, why, why does Holy Name have this lead? All right. You said, don't say just because Josh Manero has 20 points. Now, that is a big part of it. Oh, yeah, I got now, you the, now. now, the guys who have scored around him, there's 17 other points scored as he has scored 20 in the first half. Those guys have stepped up, obviously, scoring a guy like Joey Abraham. But they've also stepped up defensively, getting rebounds, getting the ball back into his hands. That has been a big part of why Holyman has this lead. And Joey Abraham has been able to step into the kind of the Batman and Robin role, playing the Robin role, even in the Darius Girl and Colin Sexton analogy in Cleveland last year. He's kind of stepped up in that extra role as he'll put up the first shot of the half. That one not falling, but he stepped up nicely in the offensive role in the absence of Keegan Furman. That's why we have this lead. Could not have said it better myself. Anyway. You could not have because you forgot your own question. I did. And also, speaking of things that I did actually ask, I remember this one. We did get the 900 subscribers during halftime, so thank you all who subscribed. The goal next one is 1,000, so if you still have not subscribed, subscribe down below. Turn from red to gray. It'll make your day. Yeah, we're doing that before the home game, Holy Name Padua football next year, 2023, it's sometime in August, I believe, right, Nathan? August, like, 18th, 19th, 20th, in that range, I don't know offhand. Once this guy's released, we'll be able to know. So plenty of time for you people to subscribe. Yes. Pinero with three. That one not falling. Rebounded by Dorian Petway. And that'll be a foul against Dorian? Um, okay, that one is on the ghost of Dorian Petway, I guess. Yeah, he's already got four, so they got they have to take him out because he, he can't play with he can't foul out this early. He already has four. I did not see the foul. I'm just gonna say I did not see a foul. And that one holding against the ball right back, but still, I did not see anything on Dorian Petway. It didn't even look like he touched anyone. I mean, maybe, but and even with that, maybe. And even with that. I don't know. Pinero takes inside, floating to that one. Not falling, Cristino fighting for the rebound, rolls it outside, starts to the lane and resets. Yeah, kind of just squirted out to Drew. I mean, he just, again, right place, right time. Get a second chance on offense. And there's Pinero's first points here of the second half, taking his tally to 22 on the night. 
And that was ref injury timeout. But going back to that Dorian Petway foul, it looked like the Cleveland Central Catholic bench even thought it was a foul against their own team based on the reaction their coach gave. It looked like they thought it was on them. Yeah, I, I, I do think that they thought it was on them. Well, you win some, you lose some, and Bowling Aim up by 14 in this one. One of the few things they can complain about this game. That is something they cannot complain about. That one goes out against Cleveland Central Catholic. Holy name. Takes back possession. The rest are just competing. And they're saying it went out against Holy Name, apparently. Now that's something to complain about. There it is. So too soon. I I don't know. I didn't know that he could. I thought that he had the best angle. I, I don't know. I, I thought the guy close to us here had a better angle. I don't know. I'm not... That's why they don't pass the rest. Yep. Edmonds, that one. Not falling, rebounded by Casino. That, that should have been an over the back foul. That is what an over the back foul is. Now keep playing through it, because you can't control what the refs do. Watch behind you there, Pinheiro. And that one yeah, should be a trip. Yeah, yeah, you're going to get a tripping foul there. So only two points scored here in the second half. Both offenses are going kind of quiet. Well, and the defense is playing a lot more ferocious, I should say. Just looking in the last it, It's half, a lot more aggressive. Like, did he, can you really name how many fouls there were in the first half? Maybe like 10 combined, if that? I think there was 11. I think it was six on CCC and five on Holy Name, which three on Dorian in the first half, which two of them, I don't even know if they were fouls. And then now he's got his fourth one here in the second half, which hurts. Abraham inside that one. That's will definitely be called. Two shots incoming. Now be on Kay Elon Hurt. To the line is going Joey Abraham. And maybe get him in some foul trouble early in this half. Get to the line, make these free throws. That one will fall for Joey Abraham. His eighth point of tonight's contest. Second highest on Holy Name. Yeah, we talked about how Peter Cristino needed to step up in this game. But I feel like you've really seen Joey show that he can score and he could be a scoring threat and that opposing defenses need to worry about him. Definitely. I mean, in the last two games, he's shown himself as a scoring point guard, not just a passing point guard, which is something that is definitely a contrast to what we see for the majority of this season. Well, he knows his role and he knows that he's not always had to be that scoring threat. But with Keegan out, he's got to step up and maybe provide more some, some more points on offense and a good rebound there by Pinheiro. That one rolling with that. He is and there's a trip the right there. That one not called. The tackle there on Cleveland Central Catholic. Edmund trying to work inside. Almost loses his footing there on the court. But once again, like he said in the first half, there he was working on Adam Humanick. It looks like they're trying to work against him. The majority of times that we're looking who they're going up against, it's against Adam Humanick. working against him on the pick. Knox, that floater, that one will fall. Knox his first points here of the second half. Now Hemenek, respond. Can he respond with a three? That one, no good. Knox lets it go out. Cooler Central Catholic takes back possession. Yeah, you saw Holy Name play fast, but maybe in this second half, they're going to slow it up a little bit, up by 13. But maybe you, maybe you see the exact opposite, and they keep playing fast because it's worked for them all night. Spire trying to pry away, unable to do so. And like you said before, Joe Lewis set the check-in in the game for the first time for varsity, probably since the Kettenston game, and that was in late November. That was the day after Black Friday. Well, that's a lot of the reason is there's a two by Petway, or by Pinheiro, I'm sorry. And as you said, Cristino needing a step up. That was a nice play. Hemenek, three, that one not falling. Cristino, another rebound after a nice athletic play to keep it in bounds. His first points of the night, but what a sequence there by Peter Cristino. Yeah, maybe he doesn't always have to step up on scoring, but getting those rebounds, he's got to be that physical person inside without that way in the game right now. And you only see, the only reason you're seeing Joe Lewis check in this early in the game, as early as we predicted, is because those four fouls on Petway. Wimberly, that one will in and out be falling. And now the question is when he checks in. 
Next stop is a play. Will he play the center role, or will he play more of a four? What do you think they're going to do with Christina? I think that they're going to leave Christina in at that center role. And there's That's an and one. one. He'll probably play power forward based on that shot alone. I, I, I would see, I wouldn't be surprised if you see Kuminic check out here. I mean, I, I could see Drew, but I would really not be surprised. Oh, there you see Pinheiro. I am not as good as Tony Romo, I'm sorry. That Pinheiro, I don't know if he's gotten a breather before this one. I don't think he has. Oh, wow, they're going to let him check in before the shot. I guess that he didn't have the ball. Both good. sides make a substitution. Says Arnell Edmund checks out for Cleveland Central Catholic, allowing McCullough to check into the game. Who has four points for the Ironman? Yeah, they're gonna. They're trying to match up. Like they're definitely know who they want on who. And it looks like as soon as one of them makes a substitution, they know who they want to put in and where they, who they're guarding and everything. They know their their matchup. Corner three. That one not falling. Rebounded by Cristiano. Nice job there to get the vertical. Yeah, another That's rebound. Another great big rebound there by Cristiano. Abraham hands to Styers. Styers corner, Humanic drives inside, gives Christino. That one being stripped away and taken in by K. Elon Hurt. Hurt. That one will be a foul against Styers, it appears. They're going to check out Styers, probably. I don't know, maybe not. I really don't know anything because obviously I'm not as good as Tony Romo. And once again, I was looking for a travel potential being called in that one. Yeah, maybe, but. I think he thought it was a shooting foul, but that was definitely not a shooting foul. I think he thought it was a shooting foul. McCall inbound, able to find Wimberly on the inbound. Cleveland Central Catholic now gets back to work. Knox, that one will fall for Knox. Abraham now takes up here as Cleveland Central Catholic's getting closer, now with an 11. Lewis, jersey being grabbed. No call there. Piero trying to pass it, but that one goes right in the hands of K. Elon Hurt. Yeah, here come the Ironman. You've really seen their defense step up and be a lot more physical in this second half. And they're, the rest are letting them play real physical. The whole name got to step up the intensity and, and match that intensity. Hurt directing traffic, able to pass it to Knox. Knox to McCullough. McCullough tries driving inside, finds Sims. That one sent away by Lewis. That one will be a foul and an and one on the shot there. Lewis just kind of got his eyes wandering on the ball and lost his guy, and that cannot happen. In, in this tough man to man defense, that can't happen. So before that, Joe Lewis blocked that shot. It looked, looked like he blocked him, but he got the first one. Styrus. The culprit on the foul for the end one, but... Dude, that was Styers on the foul? And that timeout, CCC. But still, definitely with Joe Lewis getting in that block, an early impact, that's what you want to see if you're holding in. Little things like that. You're not asking him to solve world hunger in this first out and sense of injury. You're asking him to make and show signs that he is ready to play varsity. He can get a couple of good rebounds, a couple of assists, maybe even a bucket or two. That's what Coach Patton and Holy Name wants to see from him. I believe you can agree with that. Not not much, but step by step the goal of him. Yeah, I, and an injury update on Keegan here. I think the earliest we're going to see him is maybe that Friday game, but I highly, highly doubt it. So I think maybe the Tuesday game, but if not the Tuesday game, very likely the Thursday game. If not the Thursday game, I know we're saying a lot of hips here. Thursday game? I mean, Friday game. The game following that, he should be good to go. Back out on the floor. So, good for Holy Name. And here's a question for you if you were a coach. He is cleared by trainers. Friday is a game that does not matter. You suit him up and not play him. You have him warm up, look like he's gonna start and then not start him. I think that maybe you play him a little bit, knock that rust off, he's missed a few games, so maybe knock that rust off a little bit, get him in a groove, then you can pull him, and he knows what he's doing. He's all good to go. He's ready to go for that next for that playoff game on Tuesday. And the GLC tournament is definitely what they want to win for. You heard Drew Stocks in the interview. They weren't winning to play and go undefeated. Their goal was to win the GLC, to win Division Two. That was their goal. That one goes out of bounds and knocks the phone out of a fan's hand. 
They say baseball is a dangerous spectator sport. Look at basketball now. Yeah. And baseball, they started the pitching clock next year, I believe, right? And they're getting rid of the shifts. So it's an exciting year for Tom Hamilton, I guess, and the Cleveland Guardians. Inside the call, that will be a yeah, clear foul. shooting foul. Two shots incoming here for McCall. I don't even got to clean it up. I mean, I feel like there's been a, quite a few fouls in these last couple of possessions. And Human are ready to check in for probably Styers. Guess. Again, that's a Tony Romo prediction. That one falls for McCall. And if Obviously wrong because I cannot have Tony Roman predictions. I give up on my Tony Roman predictions and we're just going to call him. Don't listen to me because I have no idea what I'm doing. You're still like Tony Roman, just Tony Roman in the playoffs. No, the entire Cowboys organization in the playoffs. Yeah, that's a fair point. The NFL script writers are getting extra time for There's a foul. They're going to get that call every time. They got to prove in the air there's Tyron still nice job, even if they were going to He'll still get rid of any people only name with possession. Yeah, a little over aggression there. Great aggression, but a little over aggression. That one back court to Abraham. Pulling in now. We're just them now a minute left to go in the third. Abraham outside Styers. Styers being double teamed. Has to get rid of it. Able to find Abraham. Humanic open for a three. Bang! Adam Humanic's first point of the night. That's big three for Pulling name. Got the score, scoring going again. Let's see what they can do with it. With 40 ticks to go. And Drew saw he was double teamed, found the open man. And Tanero knew Drew was double teamed, so he knew someone else was more open than him. And he ditched it off to Humanic, who was wide open in the corner. And that one of three here for CCC, not falling, rebounded by Holy Name. But we saw that Luthan West. They double teamed a lot, but you know that left a lot of open guys. And Holy Name is able to find them. The hot hand, Humanic, another three. That one falls! Bang! Right there again, another double team, saw him wide open. That's gonna have to make them to stop playing as aggressive and maybe man up a little more. And that'll give Holy Name some more open shots from other people. That one inside, Sims, sent away by Abraham. Nice shot to avoid a shooting foul. I don't even think he intentionally did. I don't think he kind of hit his elbow when he was going up. I mean, hey, he'll take the block though, I think, right? It goes down in the stats as a block. Really, it was Christino's guy who he was defending as well in the double team. Christino had a block of his own ready, but Abraham blocked it sooner. McCullough floating to the end of the quarter. That one will fall for McCullough. And Cleveland Central Catholic make it now an 11 point game. End of three here from Cleveland Central Catholic High School. Pulling in 50, Cleveland Central Catholic 39. We'll be back in a minute to bring you the fourth quarter. All right, we are back here to bring you the fourth quarter of this game. Holy Name up by 11, 50 to 39. Today is victory day for Holy Name. With a buck 25 left to go from our main gym at Holy Name High School, the girls' basketball team is up 41-22 over Fairview in the GLC tournament. Congratulations to them on that victory. Once that one will end in about 90 seconds. Holy Name boys, I will try and emulate what their female counterparts are doing currently at home. That one goes out. Holy Name takes possession. And that was really... I mean, yeah, there's a need for him to go after that, but it was going to be an over the back anyways. It was off of CCC, no tip from Holy Name, so that was pretty much guaranteed Holy Name ball unless something wild and crazy happened, which for this game, looks like anything could happen here. Exactly. Abraham. 
Works up the pick from Christino. Still being double teamed. Steyer, the three. That one not falling, rebound in the hands of Hurt and Cleveland Central Catholic. We talked about this a little bit in the last game. Pulling in needs to have a little better spacing on offense. They kind of get clumpy once they start moving around. They really get clumped together, and that really helps CCC's defense. And, and they don't have to be so spread out, open, more open lanes. If you, keep, if you keep good spacing, you have more open lanes. Okay, Elon Hurt now has it here for the Ironmen, trying to get something going down 11. Yeah, another long, drawn out possession there from them. But still, one name has not had one of those yet today. Yeah, they've all been very fast, and it, they've been efficient, and that's what's given them 50 points and a three in the corner. Now I'm not falling either. Bryce gives McCall. That one will be a foul on Cristino on the shot. Two shots now for McCall on sophomore. Now we got to be careful with our big man here. I think he's got three now. Pele's got four. And... Uh, Wow, I can't remember anyone's name today. Joe Lewis, I believe he's got one, but I would say he's definitely on limited minutes coming off of that injury. Definitely do not want to re-injure. And coming off of playing a JV game by an hour ago as well. Yeah. One for two from the line is McCall. Ten point game now once again. I think it, this is it's been as close as it's been since middle second quarter. Christina, that one will not fall, tipped around. Cleveland Central Catholic getting the ball back, and now taking it back to work here. Knox gives to McCall. McCall is going to take his time. Yeah, there's like a 10, 15 second possession for Holy Name, and they're already that far into the CCC possession. Now one for Grice will fall. His fourth point of the night being scored. Now Cleveland Central Catholic trying to make this one close. Yeah, it's single digits now. My name got to get something going. Maybe you slow it up here, find an open shot. If they can find the open shot, you take it. If not, you got to drill a lot of clock. Because Spoon said the guy is getting hot and their offense is getting cold. Pinheiro, however, denies that fact, gets it to the basket once again. Yeah, he's been over reliable tonight. I mean, what does he have now? 25, 28? Something along those lines. Wimberly, corner. Pump fake gives back to Wimberly from her corner. Wide open, McCall, a three. That one not falling. Knox gets it back to McCall. That one sent away by Cristino. And here come the green wave. Yeah, good slow up there by Humanic. Saw the guy behind him. Wasn't going to get it stolen. They know they're in front. They can take their time. And here's Abraham. Abraham waiting for something to develop. Gets back outside, Pinheiro. Inside, Cristino fighting for it, and that one will be lost. Jump ball here, and... Holy Name should keep possession according to what they're pointing. Holy Name. Inbound to Abraham. Inbound to Cristino, Cristino to Humanic. Pinheiro has 24 points on the night, four points in the second half. That was close. I was 25 30 here already. Your first decent no, 20 prediction. I said 22 to 25. No, I don't think you did. You I think game, I but. did. Let's, let's, let's make my progressive replay. I'm going to need my progressive replay. Not sponsored. That one will be a in one foul against the arrow. Here for Holy Name. Cristino checks out with Petway with four fouls, checks back in. I think Cristino's got four also, so they gotta be smart with these two guys. Why not a big? You gotta, you gotta be smart with Petway. Gotta understand he's got four. So they're gonna come at him aggressively and try to force him to get that fifth foul. And that and one will fall for Knox, his first free throw made of the night. Here's Abraham bringing it up. Like the point guard. Like traditional point guard he is. Sires now takes it from him. Trying to work it inside. That one not falling. Close to the travel, not called, but here comes Cleveland Central Catholic and McCall. Sires trying to get from behind. Not being overly aggressive though, as holy name, they need everyone possible in this game. Yeah, that was smart by Sires. Knew he had nowhere to go with the ball. He had to shoot it, so. And that one, Petway able to box 
out Sims and get the ball back for Holy Name. Pinheiro makes his tally for the night, 26. Pinheiro is going to put this team on his back in the fourth quarter and win them this game. Now, don't, don't discredit the rest of the team because you got to play tough defense to win this out, but leading scorer on offense for sure. That hook shot from Edmonds does fall. Up to six points now is the junior guard. Abraham now has it here for the green wave with under 3.30 left to go in this one. Abraham, that one right to the lane, not gonna fall her. Unlucky bounce for him, knocks. That one, giving a, trying to get it from behind, unable to do so. Gives Sims, here comes Katie on her. Up court now are the Ironmen. Maybe they're the guy that is slowing this one down, actually. Corner now. That's how they like to run their offense. Very similar to a Buckeye offense, where you see a lot of picks, pick and rolls, a lot of drive to the basket. That one now falling, rebounded by Petway. Gives to Pinheiro, holy name, once again will reset. Now under 180 seconds left to go in this one. Pinheiro dribbles on the sideline, timeout called here by holy name. Now it's 2.50 left to go in this one. Your score, Holy Name 54, Cleveland Central Catholic 47. The final regular season game is Friday night at Normandy. Holy Name Normandy at 7 p.m. We will probably not be on the call for that one unless something crazy happens. And the next week, we play Tuesday and Friday at home in the GLT tournament against two be determined opponents, but we will be definitely covering both those games. Tip it in all the games that we are covering. Follow Holy Name broadcasting on Instagram and Twitter. Go down below, turn the red to gray, it'll make your day. Yeah, with that, I think we're gonna take a break here, real quick, Nate. 15 second break for us, our voice, and be back in a minute. I'll we'll be right back. to go in tonight's contest. Holy Name up 54 47. As Holy Name's offense gets back to work, we're just tuning in. Josh Pinheiro been the man of the night here for Holy Name, scoring 26 points in tonight's contest and led on offense. Sires, that one will fall for Sires. He has eight points on the night. Holy Name now to 56 points, and what we said beforehand, the magic number was 55. We've hit it. Yeah, but I'm feeling here that we might need to go over that magic number, Nathan. When you go the same magic number as that one, will fall. Yeah, we said, we said under 50, we'd be good, and it looks like we're gonna go over 50, so. We said the magic number would be 55 or 60. It looks like 60 is gonna be more of the magic number in this well, one. On, on defense, we wanna score, give less yeah. than 50. There's a long three from Pinheiro. Up the Just off the corner of the rim. Good rebound by Abraham. Now Abraham takes it here, matched up against Hurt. Abraham able to keep it inside, Petway. That one, no call on a foul that should have been, probably. And here comes Michael Kelly on a clear travel, not called. Wimberly takes the two mark once. They're in a five point game. Claim gonna slow it up, find a good shot, take a good possession here. They're gonna press you, obviously. Get, find that wide open guy, and there's a foul easy call. Yeah, look, that was a clear travel there by Wimberly going to the basketball that I missed. Wimberly called for the foul. All they have to do, I'm sure as soon as whoever gets the ball is going to get double teamed. You got to get rid of the ball and then a quick pass right to that and you're going to find the open guy every time and get an easy shot. Pinheiro gives to Abraham. 90 seconds left to go in tonight. Keep, keep some fast ball movement. They never started the clock. They never started the clock. Yeah, We're gonna move to 119. That's good. The refs saw the clock never started, but in the Holy Name Canfield game in the final four, if you're watching that one with us or listening, I should say, 
The clock was paused for a good minute and a half. The refs said nothing. Probably a good two or three minutes of clock kicked off. That would then allow Canfield to punch in a touchdown before the end of the half. That if the time was not there, that game opposed to 38-21 became a 10-point game. And Owen and Kevin a lot more momentum in that one. So we've seen clock play a big part in a lot of games. Pinheiro now has it. Point in, now being double teamed. That one goes out against Pillar Central Catholic pulling in. 62 seconds left to survive in this one. Yeah, see? You get, you get that double team right on the ball. Force them to make a bad pass. That one goes back towards Abraham. Now here comes Holy Name, Pinheiro. And that will be a foul, almost a steal there by easy Knox for the foul. That's going to be an easy call every time. You got to go You got to go, go for the ball. He, he did go for the ball, but he definitely uh, moved that arm out of the way. But it's, yeah, it's going to be one more, and they got one more to give. So you expect another intentional foul here as it's a five-point game. Someone's got to get open. Sire takes the inbound hand to Pinheiro. Now it's a game of hot potato here for Holy Name. Yeah, keep the ball moving around. Keep drilling that clock off. Pinheiro, able to get rid of it to Abraham. Kimenek now has it. Kimenek back to Pinheiro. Pinheiro, back to Abraham. I they called that one a foul. Yeah, so it's going to be a one and one. And now Christina checks back into the game here for Holy Name. And he may go to the sideline. So this is kind of smart here by Coach Patton. Taking out one of your guards and putting in another big. Now you have two bigs in there nearest to the back end for Holy Name. And now if this one is not good by Veneer, you have two guys you can box out and get a big rebound. Yeah, I expect him to come back in. I mean, I would not be surprised if you see him come back in for an offensive possession because Chris, Chris, Peter Christina has not been that great on offense tonight. That one will fall for Pinheiro. He gets a second. Now, his defense has been critical for Holy Name and a couple big rebounds he's grabbed. And offense is not the whole point of the game, but you see Humanic has a little more contribution on offense. And now Pinheiro up to 28 points on the night. What an impressive day for him offensively. Yeah, two big three throws. You gotta make CCC drill a lot of clock off to get this bucket. Wimberly outside to Knox. Knox, that one rejected by Petway. Nice aggression there, here comes Holy Name. Pinheiro to the corner, running away. Now it's more of a hot potato, potentially. Inside, that one tips away and goes out against Holy Name. A meaningless pass there. Yeah, now, Cleveland Central Catholic gets lucky. Yeah, you want to drill clock off, but smartly at the same time. And you know CCC does not like to take three, so we're going to see what's going to go on here. It's going to stay CCC ball. That was a weird one. Look at that kick off his foot. Yeah. Holy name up by seven in this one. They need to drill 20 more seconds, and they go to 16 and one on the year. What an impressive feat by this bunch of young men. That one will fall for Cleveland Central Catholic. Oh, that was just a over and over and back there. That one. Holy name gets it right back. Getting lucky, and there you go. Offensive possession upcoming. Here comes Adam Munich. Yeah, so you see how he comes back in for an offensive possession. 5.2 seconds, just got to not make a bad pass. Yeah, I mean. And they're going to let him run out the run clock. Out. And with that, that will do it here from Cleveland Central Catholic High School. Your final score, Holy Name 58, Cleveland Central Catholic 53. And what was a tight game for the end of this one, Holy Name's offense. The big part of why we won this one, 28 points, following up his 33-point senior night. Josh Pinheiro, definitely offensive player of the game for Holy Name. And now one more regular season game, quote unquote, remaining in this one. It'll be an interesting one against Normandy. That one we will probably not be bringing to you, but once again, it's it today in all the games that we are covering. Follow Holy Name Broadcasting on Instagram and Twitter. It's it today in all the games that, that Holy Name plays in general. Holy Name Athletics on Instagram and Twitter. And finally, subscribe here to Holy Name Athletics on YouTube to put on push notifications to be notified when we go live. But that, that will do it here from Cleveland Central Catholic. Your final score once again, Holy Name 58, Cleveland Central Catholic. 
53. I've been Nathan Smith alongside me, Michael Alexic. We thank you for tuning in to this broadcast. And once again, another reminder, get us to 1,000 subscribers by the Holy Name Padua football game next year. Signing off, once again, I've been Nathan Smith alongside me, Michael Alexic. We thank you for watching. Good night, everyone, and go Namers. Thank you.